and this is her best friend Joni. Nice They've been best friends for 60 years. That is correct. Mm -hmm. And they are also artists. Mm -hmm. And they also know nothing about fluid art. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> and they also think fluid art isn't as good as real art. <laughs> Just joking. Joni's more open-minded, but you know what? They actually hate things on round canvases, yeah. mm -hmm. which I will never agree with them on. But today, we are going to learn, and I'm going to teach them how to do a loaded palette knife swipe. Oh, I'm yes. excited. So, so let's you. get to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 No, I'm scared of the shot. <laughs> so... Blooms have three layers, as most of us know. The pillow paint, which is the first layer, our colors, which is the second layer, and our cell activator, which is the third layer. All three layers have to be perfect consistencies because if one layer's off, your cells are gonna melt, it's gonna be a disaster and horrible. So I have, I do have a mixing video, number 107, showing up how I mix up my pigments and my paints. Basically today, I'm doing a custom order for a client's son, so it has to be masculine. And I'm going to do, uh, she wanted black background with negative space and very simple colors with an interference and a swipe down the middle. So let's talk about my pillow paint. This is out of stock, you can't get it anymore, sorry. But it's Color Place, um, not Color Place, Color To Go Sherwin-Williams. This is called Tricorn Black. So that's gonna be my black base. The colors I'm using today are just a black tube paint in my port. Oh, it looks a little thick, hold on. They've been sitting out a while. So I'm gonna thin this attach. When I wanna thin it, I'm gonna put a little of my jo uh, Josonia gloss. You see how it kind of sits for like a little touch too long. So we're gonna thin that out, but that's black. And I have my white tube paint, which is also a little thick, which will thin out. And I have two pigments. I have TLP Galaxy, lovely color, which is nice. And I have this interference green, TLP Pinot Gris. So you can't see it right now, but when it's on the black, you're gonna see a green situation. And my cell activator is Payne, Amsterdam, Payne's Gray with Australian Floetrol. I don't measure, but I like it a little thicker. So about three to one. And see how it, is this too thick? Has it been sitting out? Yes, it's a little thick, so I'm gonna thin it out actually right now. So I'm just gonna take my Floetrol. This is what makes the cells. So this is important to be perfect. However, swipes are actually more forgiving than blooms. So it doesn't have to be as perfect, but still somewhat perfect. It's very cold in my basement now. We just started winter, so I'm gonna thin it out a bit more than show you the consistency I like. Questions so far, since you guys are here? Well, it seems very complicated. <laughs> yes. You know what? I will say the bloom is known to be the most complica complicated uh, fluid arts technique. There are a bunch. So here, I've thinned it out. I see a lot of pouring and blooming and this and that on YouTube and stuff, and it yes. just seems so hit and miss and kind of like, whatever happens, and look at this. It's true, it is a lot of, I always kind of spin and pray, because I never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so let's get to pouring. So what is a loaded palette knife swipe? There are so many ways to do swipes this way, I don't know if it's easier or harder, but I put my cell activator down first and I put all everything, all my colors on here. <laughs> and I swipe it down mm. like this. So other ways to do a swipe is most of the time you see people put colors down first and then to kind of swipe it out that way. This way we're gonna do it because I really want negative space and I want the colors to be this thickness. So let's start. Questions so far? No, I'm watching with bated breath. All right. So how much pillow paint? You don't want to put too much. You don't want to put too little. <laughs> Just so you know. About this much. And what I like to do is I like to wipe down my sides. So when I spin it, it has somewhere to go. By the way, when I spin, you guys are going to have to move oh, way yes, out of the yes, way. Yes. So we don't want to get black paint. Mm -hmm. okay. So this could be a little too much. I'm gonna just spin it out a bit to thin it out. All right, are you ready? Should we move? Not yet. Okay. Because you want to see the cells pop. Yes. Okay. So I'm picking. Does it matter that there is bubbles now? 
Not now, because they'll spin out, or I take my skewer and I just pop them. By the way, you can get these palette knives at fluid-art.co. Uh, they have many different sizes. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put my cell activator. Do you have a vision yet? It does, you can have 100 visions and they'll never turn out mm -hmm. like you thought. So I, I just hope, I'm always just hoping that it turns out. So I've, make, I've made a thin thing of cell activator. Yes. So now I'm gonna, cause I'm working backwards, right? So on the cell activator, I'm putting my, oh, I forgot to thin them. Hold please. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, I just take a little this, a little that. What is this that? Is this that? is Joe Sonia gloss. If you can see, that's what I thin my paints with. So let's see. And you can see it's nice and still a little too thick for me, but for this swipe, I don't care. It's a little gloopy. I will go like this. And you have to, that's what's important. Like you can't just, it's not about measuring. You really have to know what your eye is looking for. Okay, let's get to work. So here's the white, okay? Now I'm going to do my uh, Pinot Gris. This is the green interference. It's okay if we get a little messy because I will swipe it away. Then I will do my black, which I've thinned. Let me just mixy mixy, mixy mixy, okay? I'm just gonna do it over here so I don't get it too messy, but I'm currently putting the black on the back. And then finally, I'm gonna top it off with the galaxy, just so you can see what I'm doing. I've already got it messy, it's okay. It is quite messy this way and quite unpredictable. So you've just got to, why don't I just swipe here since we got it messy. Okay, are you ready? for the magic touch here. Are we supposed to move? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. oh. And you see the cells coming. You yes. see the cell and you see the yes. green yes. interference. Isn't that pretty? Yes. You never that. even knew that that was gonna happen, did no, you? No, no, I'm shocked. I know. Wow. So I'm looking at it and so now you have choices. Oh, see, I see a few air bubbles. So I'm just gonna take my skewer and pop those out while we discuss. Air bubble, air bubble, air bubble. So this process has really nothing to do with uh, like color theory. Right? Well, yes, it, yes, oh. it does. It, it's very important, first of all, get, get your finger out of there. <laughs> um, opacities, you have to know your opacities. Okay. Um, some colors get muddied. So you do have to know what works well together. It's different than traditional painting mm -hmm. um, in that way. So right now I have to think, okay, I could just spin it and it will grow or I can get more, I have to start tilting and going slow and getting where I want to be. So, so I know you I wouldn't there. now swipe down in another direction from the main swipe? No, because I would. if I swiped over this, I would just ruin it. Okay. You could do a side swipe, you could do, you could do it. But if you like, I really like what's happening here. Um, and I'm actually gonna stretch it out more. So see, look at the cell stretch, really pretty. Okay. And okay, now you may step back away. Okay. Because now we get messy. So I'm always still looking at composition and things like that. So I'm gonna spin slowly and see where things are coming off. What I want to come off more. Obviously, I want this corner to come off because it's not looking great. So I'm just going to help it out a little bit by spinning it down this way. So we're going kind of slow, back and forth. And I'm hoping it turns to be, it's pretty masculine looking, right? Any other questions? You guys are good little students. Yeah. Is that how this one was created? Yes, I did okay, a similar okay. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, this lady ordered two, one for each son, so I did one with blue, mm -hmm. a blue interference. Mm -hmm. So I'm still kind of tilting back and forth, and I want this corner off more now, so I'm gonna bring my painting a little bit more off that edge. 
science, gravity. Mm, yes. So we're just kind of going slow. I really like the cells on the top. They're looking really cool. Yeah. So this part takes more time than the, especially because you're always looking. Ladies, pay attention in class, yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're always kind of looking at how it's spinning out, what corners you want off, what you want um, to work on more. So I think, so now what I do is I'm still tilting because I want to spin until the middle doesn't move anymore because you don't want, which is I can do one more spin. Um, you don't want paint, too much paint left over because when it dries, it will crack because the things that we're putting together aren't really meant to be together. That's why the drying process is its own whole problem sometimes. But... So when it's drying, does it matter if it's cold or hot? Or yes, yeah, so you don't want it. You want it just right. <laughs> um, you, too cold really isn't good for any of this. Like too cold, as you saw, my paints thickened up a lot. Um, so it's the same thing kind of when you're resining. There's one little bubble that's bugging me. But I think this is done. Um, I kind of like, do you guys see the final product? So Stay over cool. there. Oh, wow. <laughs> You see? Beautiful. Yeah, so, oh, nice. and when it's resined, because of the pigments, will give it like a really cool 3D vibe. So this is what it looks like here. So that's it. So what do you think of your of your first uh, swipe I class? It's fascinating. Yeah, it's, it is quite fascinating how yes. it, uh, I'm just gonna get this out. bubble. Um, all right, well, thanks for joining. And hope you guys at home enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.